Welcome to Cook 30 for Kids. I'm Chef Jeremy Dixon from the Revive Cafes in Auckland, New Zealand. And today I'm going to show you how you can make a delicious, healthy, quick meal in your very own home kitchen. On Cook 30 for Kids, we're using healthy whole grain ingredients. God wants to have lots of energy and vitality in our lives so we can do amazing things. So make sure you eat healthy and avoid junk food and use ingredients like we're going to be using today. We have three very special guests today. We have Lachlan and Lily from um, Chicago, and welcome to Tony from China. Great to have you here, guys. Mm -hmm. So to start with, we're going to ask these guys some questions so you can get to know them a little better. So we'll start with Tony. Mm -hmm. So what is your favorite subject at school? Well, so I, enjoy, I really enjoy science. Science? Yeah, it Excellent. was my favorite. That's great. And the more we look at science, the more we see how amazing God has created us, mm -hmm. don't we? Yes. Lily, your favorite subject? I personally like art and PE. Art and PE, excellent. Do you do art and PE at the same time? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Different times. Okay, cool. And Lachlan, what's your favorite? For some reason, it's math. Math! <laughs> math is a great subject. I love maths. It was great. That's awesome. So what's the square root of 64? Eight. Oh, wasn't that quick? Whoa, that's excellent. And he wasn't even prepared for that either. Okay, second question. So Tony, what's your favorite animal? I like raccoons. Raccoons, <laughs> excellent, that's cool. And your favorite animal? A Lily? dog. Dogs. A dog, do you have a dog? No, we're about to get one though. <laughs> for sure, or you're just a wishing one? Uh, for sure, I got oh, really? it. Really? Yeah, for my birthday, my parents said we can get a dog. Oh, that's fantastic, because you've wanted one for a while, haven't you? Mm. That's great. And Lachlan, what's your favorite animal? Probably a cheetah. A cheetah? Yeah. Why is that? Because they're so fast. Wow, they're magnificent animals. That's great. Alrighty, let's get cooking. What is on the menu today? Well, it looks like we have mini taco pizzas with refried beans, lime guacamole, and potato roasties. And for a drink, we have fruit smoothies. Ooh, sounds really good. Okay, let's get cooking. Before we do, though, one thing that's really important in restaurant and cafe land is something called prep. So basically, you don't just turn up in the, in the restaurant kitchen expecting to make a meal in seconds. You want to prepare and think ahead, the day before even. Um, actually, even, for example, on a Thursday at my cafes, we plan our menu for the next week starting Monday so we can order in ingredients, have things prepped, and get things ready for Monday when we want to cook them. So a lot of planning is really important. And same in your home kitchen too. So we've got a clear work surface, we've got a pan here, we've got some trays out, chopping board, sharp knife ingredients, oven's on, Great attitude, ready to go. Yes. yes. Let's get cooking. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make some potato roasties. So okay. potatoes can take a long time in the oven to cook, so we want to do this really quickly. So I'm going to get two of you working on this. Okay. So if um, Lily and Lachlan for grabbing grab you guys a knife each, and what we want to do is we want to chop the potatoes into half like this, okay. and then we want to chop them into little, little pieces like that, so they're really, really small. See that? Yep. So if you want to get going on that, Lily. Okay. And when you've got the knife, make sure you're sliding the knife through like that, and it makes it easier to go through as well. So we're sliding, we're looking as we're going. If you're using sharp knives at home, it's a great skill to have, and really important to be able to use sharp knives, but make sure you get your parents to help you out because they can be very dangerous. So when you first start, just do that. So there's one there, hmm. one for Lily, and Lachlan, if you can do some as well, and yep. we'll get that underway. How do you chop so fast? <laughs> just experience, I think. You just got to keep keep focus on it. So there's those little roasties oh. there. So the ovens are hot and ready to go because an oven can take half an hour to, to kind of warm up by itself. So having it done beforehand will really help us with our meals. Mm. Looking a little bit different, but that's okay. Cool. Yep. So just keep just as small as you possibly can. Lovely, Lee. Look at those lovely little little things there. So we're going to put some parchment paper down. Excuse me, Tony. Oh. So if you can rip off some sheets of this mm -hmm. and put it on those two on, the, on one of those trays, um, by using parchment paper, it just makes cleaning up easier. Less chances of things sticking. Um, so it's really useful. Okay. So while that's going, I'm going to get the onions started. So we're going to cook our own refried bean mixture. So you can buy these in cans, um, but it's much nicer when you get your own your own ones. Excuse me, I'm just going to grab a knife in here. It's great. Chef Jeremy? Yes? I don't think we have enough 
Oh, that yeah. should be enough. That should, we'll put it over that way. That, that'll be like that'll be fine like that. Mm -hmm. so just it's a bit more than we need. That'll be fine. Thanks for asking. Hey, just gonna, oh, hey. Here you go. Um, how long have you been cooking? I've been cooking for probably around about when I started my restaurant about 12 years ago, and I've spent many time, many, many, many hours in the kitchen. I don't spend much time in the kitchen now, but um, yes, I've been cooking for probably 12 years and just slowly developing all the recipes as I've gone along. So it's really fun being involved. And the best thing I like about my job is I actually cook healthy food so people mm -hmm. feel well and have energy and vitality um, rather than, you know, having, getting sick with all the junk food that's around. So I'm just ch chopping an onion here really finely. And I'm just going to put it in this pan here, going to put a bit of olive oil in. Can you put, if you want to put a tablespoon of olive oil in there, mm -hmm. Tony. And we're just going to get these onions started. Perfect. So if I can get you to get one of those little wooden spoons and start cutting that. So we're just going to use one, I've got one, this is one massive onion, so I'm going to use half a massive one or one small red onion. So mm. if you can give that a bit of a stir. Oh, Chef Jeremy. Yes? Why is it better to be a vegetarian than to eat meat? Awesome question. So vegetarian is a much healthier way to be. And if you, if I believe if you eat vegetarian food and avoid you know, junk food and meat products, that um, you probably add 10, 20 years to your life. And there's lots mm. of studies around that confirm that. So, you know, meat and, and can be a, a very, a, a, as a source of disease in your body. Mm. So um, eating vegetarian is a very healthy, healthy way to be. So okay. give it, give it, if you're not vegetarian, give it a try mm. for a couple of months mm. and see how much better you feel. So That's Chef probably the real Jeremy? test. Yes? So I, we are also a vegetarian, Yes. but I was wondering some ways to get protein. That's a great question, Lee. The protein comes from many, many things um, that we're using here, especially these beans, for example. These beans today have got a lot of protein in them. You get them from tofu, from nuts, from seeds. It's actually very easy to get, get protein on a vegetarian diet. Okay. So that's a great question. So we're just going to get some garlic into here. So you guys can put the potato on top of that, um, that paper there. Okay. Chef so, Jeremy? Yes? So what made you interested in cook? Um, I just liked food and liked health. I mm. enjoyed, enjoyed having healthy food and how I felt so much better. So I thought I'd share it with the world. Mm. So it's good. Oh, Tony, can you um, get this and give us a big squeeze and put the garlic in there? Sure. Can you, how, how strong are you? Oh, point it down, point it down to there. Get going, get going, get near the eye, ah. get going, Gilly got it. Let's go, yes, wonderful, but good squeeze of the garlic. We're putting mm. the skin in and all there. That's great, so stir that around, that's done. Mm -hmm. Well done. I'll get the little bit out there that dropped in there. Boop, boop. There we go. Nice one. The garlic there. So we're just going to spray this with some, um, some olive oil spray. So get all of it on there. Okay. And this will just help it to um, My fingers bubbling. roast without, um, is it? <laughs> you sprayed me a little Oh, did I? <laughs> so get that a mix around. You actually, oil spray is a great way to put oil on. You don't actually put much oil on, but it goes on very evenly. Okay. I'm just going to put some salt on as well. So we're going to put on about, about, probably about half a teaspoon. And a little bit of turmeric to make it go nice and yellow. Just give it a lovely little colour. And, um, uh, here we go. Go the turmeric. You don't need much, probably about a quarter. Whoa, <laughs> what did you do there? <laughs> Flick the garlic on there. Excellent, and just give it a bit of a stir around like that, give it a bit of a mix around. So these will take probably around about 20 minutes in the oven because they're nice and thin, they should hopefully, you know, roast, roast nice and whoop, nice and quickly. There we go. So I'll put those in and that job is done. Great. Mm. Chef Jeremy? Yes? What's your favourite kind of food, like Asian, Thai? I love Thai food actually. Actually, I love all foods, but I really love the flavours in Thai food. You've got all that lemongrass and ginger and just wonderful flavours. It's really, really good. Cool. Okay, so if you can give a quick wipe there. Okay. So, Tony, I'll mm -hmm. get you to open these cans here. Um, let's give you a can opener. So, we're basically making our own refried beans today. So, if you can just see if you can open those. Use a can opener before, like this. There we go. Give it a good press together. Yep, out the other way. Turn it the other way. Oh, it's jumped out, is it? This way? Yes, uh, so you need to give it a good squeeze over it. Oh, you know, you're, you're good. There you go, look at it. Oh, no. So basically put it in there, give it a good squeeze, hold mm -hmm. that tight, and then, yes, excellent, there you go. So if you want to put empty both of those into that pan mm -hmm. and drain them out as well, that'd be good. Chef Jeremy? Yes? So what's your favourite spice? My favourite spice? Um, oh, many different reasons. Probably, probably clove powder. So it's got such a lovely aromatic kind of spice. Because it's come from cloves and you grind it up and you can buy it. It's actually this one here somewhere. 
looks like this, just clove powder. And it's got a really, really lovely, smell that. Ooh. Ooh. Smell that, Tony. Wow. <laughs> so clove powder is a really lovely spice. Okay. So what are we up to now? So we better make some guacamole. Ooh, Do you like that? Yes. That's pretty cool. So we'll get some, got some avocados here. So um, Lily, if I'll get you two just to see if you can create, um, get the um, avocado out of out of this. Okay. I'll just get rid of the stone for you. There you go, like that. I'll just get these stones out, and you can get that underway. I'll get a Chef bowl Jeremy, for you shortly. Yes. Do I need to remove the water in there? Yes, yes. Okay. Drain those in the sink. Mm -hmm. So just put your hands over it. Mm -hmm. Don't cut yourself. And um, Lachlan, you can probably help and do this one here. Okay. Just get the um, the water out. So just drain it over the sink, and then you've just got the beans left. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Watch out. So yeah, that's sizzling away wonderfully. So we want to basically mash all these beans now. So while that's cooking, mm -hmm. so Tony, if I can get you to mash this. So basically, get this mash here, just give them a good mash around. Mm. And we want to make them into refried beans. So just keep just keep mashing there. Mm -hmm. I'll get you a normal fork as well. Um, I'm not sure one you'll find easier, but just kind of use a combination of those to, mm -hmm. um, to mash it and make our own refried bean mix. Look at that. So we're cooking it and mashing it at the same time. How's that for saving time? Uh, Lachlan, great. we're going to need some limes. So we're making a guacamole with some lime juice, and limes are a fantastic, fantastic um, fruit to have. So we'll just chop them in half. And if you can drizzle the lime juice into that um, that pot there that Lily's putting in the avocado. So. Okay. Should I put the avocado in here? Yeah, put the avocado in there. Okay. I'll get another fork as well, just to steal it from the table. And you can start mashing it up together there. So that guacamole is just avocado, lime juice, and a little bit of salt. So um, for about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Chef Jeremy. Yep. So if we didn't have limes at home, could we use lemons instead? Lemons would be great as well. So lemons and limes are pretty much interchangeable. Um, it's just they've got different different flavours. So it's just whatever you think is the. Do you know what they taste like? Uh, no. Look one of those. Okay. Look one of those. I'll try. Oh. What they like? <laughs> uh, <laughs> They're really sad by themselves, aren't they? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Let's go. I'll throw it in the rubbish bin there. Can I throw it out? Yeah, yep, good idea. That's brilliant. Um, we're also going to use some, for the basis of our little mini pizzas, we're going to use these wholemeal um, tort tortillas. So I'm just going to lay them out in this tray. I'm going to put them in the oven just for a couple of minutes, just to basically just warm up. Um, so I'm just going to put just a little spray of oil on them so they don't burn. So again, we're not we're putting a very little amount of oil on when using these oil sprays. So we'll put that in there. So it's just done, ready to go in the oven shortly. Chef Jeremy, should I crush these now? Yep, so crush them as hard as you can. So that's the next thing. So give them a push down with that fork. Meanwhile, we're doing some good crushing here. Look at that, that's looking fantastic. Look Chef that Jeremy, yeah? so where, where did your all the recipe ideas come from? Um, just make them up pretty much. You've just wow. got to often go through the supermarket and find a new fresh vegetable or something and mm. think what's going to go with this. So it's just about mixing and, and adding different flavours. So, Chef Jeremy, uh, who taught you how to cook? All my chefs I work with really. It's probably the main thing, yeah. That's no, good. My mother's a really good cook as well. Yeah. So great questions guys. So let's have a look at this guacamole is underway. That's underway. We need some tomatoes. So um, we'll get some tomatoes from the refrigerator. So Lily, I'll get you to, to cut these up. Okay. So we've got some, some red tomatoes and some yellow tomatoes. So if you can just um, just chop them up really finely. Okay. Yep, so just kind of cut like that. Careful your fingers, don't want to cut your finger. Nope. I'll, I might just start it for you. It's probably a okay. probably a little knife, I think it's gonna work better. Okay. So try and use this one here oh, and yeah, try yeah. to slice through like that. So try to again use the, let the knife do the work. Like that. How did you get to become so good at cutting things? Um, just practice really, you can learn to do anything. So just start with a knife, just start slowly. So if you can do those ones as well, you're right there with the knife. Yep. Cool, just make sure you slide the knife through it. That's brilliant. So if you've just joined us on Cook 30 for Kids, we are cooking up a storm in the kitchen with Tony, Lachlan and Lily. What's on the menu today guys? Well, it looks like we have mini taco pizzas with refined beans, lime guacamole, and potato roasties. 
and for drink we have fruit smoothies. We are making excellent progress on our meal here. The, um, the potato roasties are in the oven, the refried beans are done, we've chopped up most of the vegetables, made the guacamole. We are, you guys are an amazing speedy crew. Do you want a job in a cafe? Do you want to come to New Zealand and work there? It'd be yeah. great, you guys are making yeah. an awesome team. So we've just got these little um, guys here, so we're just going to put them in the oven. We've got, we sprayed them with oil before, we're just going to give them around about probably two minutes, just to kind of, just go from that kind of not uncooked steak, but just, just, to just kind of freshen them up and make them a little bit kind of slightly crisp, but still soft, but just warm. Okay. So it'll make them really good. And we're actually going to present it on this lovely wooden chopping board. Mm. So we're going to present these little pizzas. So this is excellent, we've done work, so we need some lettuce. So we've got some lettuce here. So yeah, oh that guacamole, look at that. Mm. Oh, fantastic. it looks amazing. Looks great. You guys have got to try this. So you try, the, try the guacamole. It's really important when you're cooking to try it as you go and see what it's like. Mmm. Mmm. That's so creamy and lovely, isn't it? Wow. Yeah. You got some on your face, Lily. How did that get there? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So yes, yeah, so it's really nice and creamy. That'll go really well with stuff. So we'll put that in the, these in the side. Don't want to. You better finish eating that. It's all good. Just going to slice some lettuce up. Just because we can, or we want something fresh, so we've just got some just some standard kind of iceberg lettuce. Do you guys, these guys call this iceberg lettuce? Um, I'm not sure. That's what we call it back in New Zealand anyway. Mm -hmm. So just going to just give it some really, just a little bit of a chop up so it's really fine. And it's going to sit on our lovely pizza tacos. Um, what's the difference between red and yellow tomatoes? Red and yellow tomatoes? Um, the colour. <laughs> That's all it is, yeah, it's just the colour. And when you're using tomatoes, it's great, you can get different colour ones now. Red and the, I always use both, often use both. It just gives great colour, because colour is the number one thing you want to do when you're cooking. Okay. So it's okay. awesome. So those are probably um, actually just warmed up. That's all we need. The oven's really hot. So those will be just warmed up enough to use. And I think we've got everything ready to start assembling. Oh, yep, look at that. Ooh. So we're just going to lay them out like that and start making a mini pizza. Smells delicious. Mm. It's great. So, um, Tony, can you go to the fridge and get the cilantro sure. out of there? So we're going to use some, chop up some cilantro as well. Just get this hot pan over here out the way. And all we have to do now is start assembling. Thanks for that. And I love keeping herbs in, the, um, in, a, in a paper towel like this. Yeah. Um, it just keeps them nice and fresh. What makes herbs go really bad in the refrigerator is if you put them in the refrigerator in the main section, where there's lots of cool, very dry air going and they dry out very, very quickly. So that's why we do that. So Tony, I'll get you to chop this if you like. Mm -hmm. You need to see some, some of your chopping skills. So this is, what do you call this in China? Xiang Tak. So, xiang Tak? Yeah. Wow, wow, you have it in there? Mm -hmm. That's great. So just give it a slice. I'll probably, um, this one here is probably the, the cleanest one to use. Mm -hmm. So just, just slice it through, just, just roughly, so probably about that far apart. Wonderful. Excellent. Actually, probably a bit more finer. So go through a few bit, a few more times through here, mm -hmm. and just kind of make it a little bit more finer. Brilliant. Excellent chopping skills. <laughs> Looks great. Looks good. So let's start layering up these, these pizzas. Yes. So I'll show you the first one, and then you guys can take it. So Lily, you can do the first layer with this stuff. Okay. Our refried beans that we've made ourselves. So basically we're just going to do a base like that and just spread it out. Wow. Mm. Are the beans instead of cheese? Um, yeah, it's kind of just like a nice protein base to, to have at the bottom. Mm. So that's number one step. So you can be in charge of that, Lily. Okay. Um, and then we're going to put on some guacamole. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Yum. And you can be in charge of that, Lachlan. Okay. Uh -huh. And then we're going to put on the veggies. We're going to put on some, some lettuce first, just a little bit, we don't want to overcrowd it, like that. And then some tomato, mm. and some cilantro. Looks amazing. Mm. So you can be in charge of that, Tony, so mm -hmm. if you guys can get the production line going. So Lily does the first one, mm. so if you can gather around and um, just pull it back a bit so you can reach it. And you can start doing that. Brilliant. Actually, I'll give you a hand there, that's probably going to be the hardest one, Lily, so okay. we'll turn the gas off so it doesn't need to cook anymore. I'll, I'll, I'll plop it on there and you can smooth it out. So don't go over the edges, you kind of want to have it there all nice and natural. Okay. So it doesn't need to be perfect. And then uh, you guys can reach over and see if you can land on the other bits. There you go, it can be difficult. As you can see we've got some great flavours here. Great beans, isn't that a great colour? Whoa, 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 sorry! Whoa. <laughs> Didn't burn you, did I? Nope. There you go, so you can spread that out. 
Or it's like Twister. Yeah. Yep, so. With your arms. <laughs> exactly. Probably go from this angle, Tony. You might find it easy to kind of jump, mm -hmm. come over here and do it from here and you can mm -hmm. reach over. So try and mound it so it kind of you're going for height and try and drop it on um, Lachlan so it kind of lands in a big kind of a clump. Okay. So you know all this wonderful flavour here that this is going to taste really, really delicious. All these avocado, beans, tomato, mm. cilantro, lime juice. I mean, it's just going to be a flavour explosion in your mouth. You looking forward to eating it? Yes. yes. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, Excellent. Okay. So a bit more there. Looking good. Oh, yeah, good presentation. Ooh. So presentation is actually a really important part of eating. So take your time. So we're layering stuff in clumps. We're going for height. So we're kind of trying to be tidy in the way we do it. Um, but still rustic at the same time, so it's never going to look perfect. But when you kind of finish with the herbs and the, the colours of the tomatoes on top, it looks really, 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 really yummy and really good to eat. You guys are doing amazing. Thank you. So while you're doing that, I'm going to get a start on the smoothie. Okay. Um, actually, I might, um, Lily, now that you've finished your stuff, I'll get you to help me out. Okay. Can you grab some fresh strawberries from the refrigerator? Yes. Find the best Oops, ones that you've got sorry. in there. And we're going to make a fresh fruit smoothie full of just fruit. So, um... That will make things really, really yummy. Great. So you've got some of those. Fruit. Excellent. Some strawberries. And if you can grab some oranges oh. from the fruit bowl around the Kay. front. How many should I grab? Um, two oranges. Okay. And I might just grab a fresh chopping board here. Because all our other chopping boards are getting very, um, <laughs> very, very um, dirty with other stuff. So I hope you can see this. So I'll just chop up this. So if you can, over oh, the strawberries, if you can just um, pop them in the, in the blender, but just rip off the, um, the stalk. Okay. So a little bit of stalk in there is fine, but just get most of it off. And oh, running out of knives here. Have to clean this one, excuse me. How's it going there? Looking great. Yeah. So I'm just going to chop these oranges up. And the oranges will be a really, will basically become orange juice. So um, pulpy Ooh. orange juice. So we're not going to add any milk or anything to the smoothie. It's just going to be 100% fruit. Um, Lachlan, can you go into the freezer? Yeah. And there should be some frozen cherries in there as well. So it's really nice to be, a, and some frozen bananas actually. Okay. Should I just add all of these? Um, you probably about half of them, so you probably want about 10 of them all up. Okay. 10 big strawberries, two oranges, and look at this guys, you've done amazing. Mm -hmm. It's looking beautiful. Looks very colourful. So look at that, we've got these lovely pizzas. There we go, just divide them out so they're kind of evenly spaced. And I'll, what I'll do, um, Tony, is I'll basically mm -hmm. we'll finish with the, you kind of want to finish with the, the tomato on top, mm. there. Here. And the final bit is the cilantro. If you, want to put in, yep, if you want to put in probably about um, a quarter of that bag into the blender. Okay. Cool. And we'll finish with the, the final thing is the herbs on top. Looking delicious. So there you go, some lovely taco pizzas. So obviously pizza is normally a very unhealthy food, but you know, we've got lots of you know, really yummy, healthy ingredients here. And also to finish, just another garnishing tip. When it's finished, you kind of want to garnish the board as well. Mm -hmm. So you can actually put stuff around it like that. Mm -hmm. And it'll actually look pretty as well. So not just the food, make sure the thing you're doing on. So mm. doesn't that look great? And Excellent, some cherries. And there should be some bananas on the top of the freezer. Okay. So we've frozen some bananas. And frozen bananas add a really nice creaminess to smoothies. Mm. So that's what we've done here. So we're going to get ready to blend this up very, very shortly. Lovely. So just if you ever get some bananas, especially the um, ripe ones, oh, wow. so just put them in the freezer like that. They'll probably last in there probably a month. And just, see, they're really... Normally ours on. only last a couple of weeks. Oh, do they? Okay. Maybe days. Oh, days, yeah. They start to go brown, don't they? Yeah. But, um, yeah, frozen, frozen bananas make a really lovely smoothie kind of a texture. So we put it, put in about uh, two small bananas in there. And let's go blend. Put the lid on, Lily, and push the go... Oh, other way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> push the blend, push the high button. Hi. Yep. Let's go, and we're blending away. I'll just give it a bit of a press down. So you want the oranges at the bottom to turn into juice, orange juice to start with. There we go. We're away. 100% fruit smoothie. Eventually they'll pick in and blend it really, really well. Yep, we're going well. Look at that. We've got some glasses over here. Really finished. Keep looking. Yay. And make sure those strawberries are done. 
and then take it off and we just pour it into these glasses and our meal is done. Wow. Mm. Yummy. And in the, it's a very nice fruit smoothie. And in the oven, our roasties will be ready. All we need to do is put them on a plate and we are ready to eat. And there you have, in just 30 minutes, these delicious taco pizzas. Do they look good, guys? Yes. I think we better try them. Um, can you say grace for us, Tony? Yes. Dear Jesus, thank you for we can be, all be here and please bless us, bless us and bless the food we eat. In your name, amen. 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 Okay, go, Grace, grab it, guys. Okay. Just grab it like a, almost like a taco. You can eat it with your hands and just put it in your mouth and see what it tastes mm. like. Mmm. -mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Fresh, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Lily? Amazing. That's great. And the smoothie, you got to try the smoothie. The smoothie is really fruity. Mm -mm. Mm. And just so, just, you, you can taste all those flavours, eh? The, mm -hmm. the orange. <laughs> you guys have got moustaches. That's great. Mm. Well, thanks for coming, guys. Did you learn lots of new skills today? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Fantastic. So, um, yeah, as you can see, we've got the roasties there as well. And in 30 minutes, you can put together a lovely, easy, delicious meal. Mm. Thank you for joining us. And we look forward to seeing you next time on Cook 30 for Kids! Kids.